Welcome back, this is Blackwing here, um, recording another episode of Undertale. See now, because I'm friends with Sans and Papyrus are down there on the right. Let's reset the game. I'm just kidding. Let's keep going. Oh, I need a little stuff out of video. I just went and bought some more stuff from the shop. Fought a, fought a bit more enemies. Nothing new, really. Just get, get a little bit more money. Not too much. Um. Alright. So. Ready to do this? Um, there's something I need to check, because I heard because I got that, uh, phone call thingy, my fun value, um, if you don't know what that is, you know, there's some other YouTube channels and stuff that'll explain it, um, there's, a uh, well, basically, I have a chance of seeing Gaster, if you don't know who that is, then I don't really take much time to explain it. I just noticed there's like a door back behind the sentry station. Let's see. Let's see what's back here. Oh, uh, actually, I need to make sure real quick Sans is still there after I leave, because I really messed up if um he's not. Okay, he's here. Actually, I'm gonna go hang out with Sans first. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill this. Wanna come? Sure. Well. If you insist, I'll bribe myself away from my work. Forgot to turn on my accent for him. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. Yeah. That shortcut, huh? It's because he can teleport. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi. Hi, Sans. Um. Hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. We're in Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here. Here, you're comfy. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'll take some bird. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Yopi, we'll have a double order of bur some bird. So, what do you think of my brother? I'm cool. Hey, pal, sarcasm isn't funny, okay? <laughs> my brother's a real star. <laughs> He's the person who pushed me to get a sentry job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes it's nice to have somebody call you out from being lazy. Even though nothing could be no further from the truth. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I'm gonna say no to the ketchup because if you say yes to the ketchup, then. Well, it spills out all over your burger, and then he has to give you his. That's just sad, so not. More for me. <laughs> if you press now, he just drinks the ketchup. He's crashing his butt. How rude, Sans. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, fire tries real hard. Like, I keep, he keep, like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. And begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, um, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? I've never actually said no to this question. I'll tell you then. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the virus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery 
advice, encouragement, predictions, weird, huh? Someone must be using the echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just a thousand gold. Just kidding. Groovy. Put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> I remember he says that. I wish I could click on the burgers. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Let's go. Uh, let's keep it chugging along. Um. Actually, I need to check something real quick. I'm gonna have to go into another window. Sorry. Um. Sorry, I was just checking on another upload. Well, let's keep going. Well, let's keep going. Well, let's keep going, shall we? Also, your character's name, um, is supposed to be Frisk, I think. Yeah, that's the original name. Yeah, that's definitely it. Now, you guys ready for the answer we've all been waiting for? Am I going to see... W. D. Gaster. I remember this back here. I know this is definitely better than the uh, armor that I currently have, so. Just gonna. Dang it. Oh no, don't use my healing items. Just gonna drop that. And away we go. Okay, push me down, rocks. Thank you. Huh? There's a camera be hidden, hidden behind the waterfall. That's all I wanted to show. Okay, let's keep going. I like this sign right here. This is a box. You can put an item in it. Or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. These dang box haters. You know the day when you last hated a box. Here with my daily report. Um, re regarding that human I got called you about earlier. Hmm? Huh? Did, did I fight him? I, I, yes. Of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did, did, did I c capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul to yourself? But I'm dying. You don't have to destroy them. You, you, you see. You see. And I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Papyrus! You. Boof! You boof nozzle! You, you, you suck up potatoes! Alright. Alright, so this next section is just filled with, like, undying stuff. Like, she just keeps attacking you from everywhere, pretty much. Alright. Yo, can you see the, the way she was steering at you? That was awesome! I am so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go and watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> ah, I love the music for this area. I can't remember where I see if, um, Gaster's here or not. But I, I do know that we will see in this episode. Oh yeah, there's new enemies in this area too, so... Just need to keep flexing. Flexing contest. Okay, more flex. <laughs> Eric 
Aaron is ready for any fights. <laughs> nice! I will lose. <laughs> Surprised he still haven't used a certain attack. <laughs> he blocks himself out of the room. Now there's something I need to check for real quick. Get me a pretty good healing item if this works out right. All the healing items I'm uh, saving up, like the, the really good healing items, they're all for the uh, second la third last fight, I'd say, of the game. One of the last fights. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? You got the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Remember, Sans made a quiche in his kitchen in the last episode. So I wonder what that's all about. I, I literally still actually wonder. I'm not actually sure about that. What that he means by the responsibility. Oops. There you go. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It is very easy. I just dial every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. Sir, so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusky tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusky tutu? Yes. So you were. So you are wearing an SD22. Got it. Rank, rank. Have a nice day. Because if you change out of the Dusty22, he still. He, he tells her the thing you're wearing still. So. Alright. Clean. You have to squash for the clean you. It hops around excitedly. Sweet. Green means clean. Washua we'll continues cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning. Washua's friends with a little bird. Clean. Washua we'll continues cleaning. I'm just trying to get some free health from this guy. Alright, that's good enough. Thank you, Washua. We'll. Basically, that telescope down there just tells me that this that door was over here. Alright, I'm thinking I'm not going to see Gaster because his follower isn't over there where he should have been. You know, the little monster kid, the little yellow guy? That's, um, Gaster's follower. Oh no, scary spikes. I'm really not worried about this at all. I'm really not. Even if I die, I just respawn right back here. So, I'm honestly not scared of this at all. <laughs> I asked if I was gonna miss me. Okay, I think I'm really gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. What if I didn't die? Never mind that. And away we met. This is the way we even these goods. Oh, sorry, I was drinking something. Let me see something real quick. Alright. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you lucky? You were standing at just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. Little buddy, 
You understand. She wants to kill me. She wants to take my soul. Right. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. I like the little mouse. Hello, Sans. What he does right here, this is literally just a troll. I'm thinking of getting into the telescope business. It's normally 5,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use a telescope? No. Well, come back whenever you want. <laughs> it just gives you pink eye. <laughs> What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I mean, if you're talking about music star, then yes to all those things. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for an ice cream. They're sure to get into customers to come back. An ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. No, just 25 gold. Eh, I'll take one, I guess. Super, here you go. Your punch card's in, in the box. You got the ice cream. You got the ice cream. I'm carrying too much. <laughs> now, I heard you can do some glitches with the... Uh, quite a few glitches with the um, punch card. So, I'm definitely going to take it. And I'll just eat my monster candy, I suppose. Alright, let's keep going. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see Gaster. I think I may have already passed the area with him in it. Um, I mean, with him possibly being in it. He definitely probably isn't here. Maybe. Man, I was really hoping I'd see him. Maybe I will. Who knows? Oh, yeah. There's another thing in here. I put my ah oh, dang it! I forgot to put my snowman piece in the box. Where is that last box again? It may have been pretty far back, but I thought I saw one up here. I might just be being stupid. You know, there's actually no box up here at all. There is. Use the box. Use the box. Put the snowman piece away. I hope it'll make this video too long, I made the last one. I made the last video like a whole hour long. That was pretty terrible. Yeah, it might take a while to upload. Especially with the crap PC I have. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Can you take it? You got the ballet shoes. These are definitely better than the current weapon I have. Alright, let's keep chugging along. Oh, also, the, these um, things right here, they call up instead of cattails in this game, they call them water sausages. I missed the opportunity to uh, to read the book about it because I was in the rooms with a tutorial. You walk into multiple, multiple. Remember, these are the guys in the these are the guys in the the ruins. Remember? That's cool. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about your clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery, but I bet you knew that already, and because you knew that, I told her what you know, what, uh, I told her what you told me you were wearing, a dusty tutu, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you'd obviously change your clothes, you're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anyway. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> it's a hopper virus, it's fault. <laughs> just keep on swimming, just keep swimming. Copyright song, copyright song. Probably. Okay. The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans that, that, that the humans feared. I hate this guy. Just because of the fact that he talks so much. I'm literally just gonna skip everything he says. I'm sorry. He 
He just talks way too much. I hate Onion Sun. Please stop talking, Onion Sun. This is such a long corridor. Why do you have to talk so much? Go away. Please go away. There we go. Oh yeah, I should run into Shiren soon. Um, um, you know my funky tune, Shiren Falls, your melody, melody. Sorry, sorry, see me, see me. Shiren seems much more comfortable seeing you along. Hum, you hum some more, monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. Sand is selling in tickets made of toilet paper. <laughs> you hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. The crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. You hum some more. But the constant attention. The tours. The groupies. It's all. Aggressive tooting. Sharon thinks about her future. Um, she automatically spares herself if you hum again. I'm just gonna spy. Oh my god, goes wild. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That's kinda hard to dodge. Sharon thinks about her future. Conduct. Larry runs wildly. The crowd eats it up. Oh gosh. Detector. I was just gonna say, for example, um, the meanest thing you can do here, since if you're doing the genocide run, is do it. I just did, then fight her, because it one shots her. You and Sharon ha have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final two. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Like a stop. My ears. My ears are bleeding! Literally, cause I, I just got hurt. <laughs> the northern room hides a great treasure. The northern room hides a great treasure. Crap, I remember this puzzle. I wanna do this though. I wanna do this puzzle. Let me, um, just look at my phone real quick. Cause I remember, I took a picture of the sequence. So, one second, and I'll be right there in a moment. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's play the piano. There we go. I'm going to keep playing it, though. Well, that was about that. Now, it's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too many dogs. Wow. I remember this. This is annoying. You deployed the dog. Dun, 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 dun. I might just keep doing this here sitting for a while. Just because of the soul fact I love this music. The great little the dog absorbs the artifact. Yep, that's that. And this takes like hours for some people to do. That's why I copy the sequence. And you may think, where the heck did you get that? Um, this power has no no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power. 
would be needed to take their soul uh, of a living monster before I read this lesson. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. You might be wondering where the heck did I get the uh, sequence for that? It's in the next room. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called the boss monster. A boss, a boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And now, it never will. This is it right here. This plays out the sequence. I'm gonna take an umbrella. Let me head on over here. Gosh, my nose is bleeding. Never mind. It's a little bit of blood. Put the umbrella on the statue. Thank you, please. We place the umbrella on the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. I love this music. Dun, 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 dun. I love that music. And I hate this music. <laughs> Yo, dude, what's up? Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Let's go. The Undying fight really isn't that far up ahead. Which, in a way, sort of worries me. Let me check real quick how long I've been recording. Um, I have been recording so far for wrong button. Um, about 30 minutes. Yeah, I'll save and stop the video. And man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up, heh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to end the video very soon. What the heck just happened there? Did you see that? I'm gonna do it again real quick. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, who had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his flowers. He ended up coming to the, into a school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! How cool it would be if Undyne came to school. She would beat up all the teachers. <laughs> um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Or is she? I'm innocent. <laughs> I am really look at me, I look a cool brother. Remember those aren't stars up there. Those are just like gemstones hanging from the ceilings. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Come on my shoulders. Thanks, Nadine! Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I will, I always find my way to get through. Poor little kid. <laughs> Falls on his face the whole time. Alright. The certain sound of a distant music box. Fuzzy with determination. I'm just gonna read these real quick. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned into dust. So they were all slaughtered. Well, this is... Sorry. Uh, wrong buttons. Well, th this was Blackwing speaking with the, pe with the Pew Pew Boys, and I will see you in the next video.